Millennials love their cell phones. Although they are not physically attached to us, we have a very special bond with our mobile devices. According to the internet-based research firm YouGov, over 50% of Millennials literally carry their phones in their hands throughout the day. Now you would think that someone who is attached to their phones that much would be quite loquacious, but it's actually the opposite. Many of us are using our smartphones for everything except to call other people. Our phones can be used for almost anything, whether it's snapping a picture to capture a special moment or shopping online so you don't have to drive to the mall just to catch that sale. We even use our phones to research health or medical information because maybe you're quite not sure what that bump on the back of your head means or we can use our phones to possibly find that special someone to watch Netflix and chill with. Nobody wants to die alone, old and bitter, with a house full of cats, so we spend a lot of time looking for a mate, but now that time is minimized thanks to our smartphones. There are many dating apps that millennials use, but the one that seems to be the most popular is Tinder. Now, Tinder promotes a more casual and quicker way for people to date, and millennials are gravitating towards this app. Instead of spending countless hours at the bar waiting for that right opportunity to approach someone, you can spend less the amount of time on a mobile dating app and maximize your chances. After a profile is created, Tinder displays all the people close to you based on your GPS location. This way, you're not starting a conversation with someone thousands of miles away who you might never see. The profiles of the people in your area are presented on your screen with a large picture of that person front and center. You swipe right if you like what you see and left if you don't. It's very similar to speed dating, but much more rapid and better results too. Now Tinder matches people based on their swipes. If both people swipe right for each other, it's a match. Now the app has other algorithms that make the matchmaking process much more efficient, but that's the gist. Now most people will usually message that person who they match with to hopefully meet up for that Netflix and chill date. This instant access to the dating world gives people endless options and opportunities for relationships. And now the only effort you have to make to find a date is moving your thumb across a phone screen. Okay, you probably think that millennials are just having tons of sex with endless amounts of people thanks to these dating apps, right? Well, yes and no. Millennials are in fact having more casual hookups compared to their parents, but the numbers of sexual partners have decreased. Researchers from Florida Atlantic University surveyed more than 33,000 U.S. adults from 1972 until 2012 on their sexual behaviors and the results were surprising. The average number of sexual partners for millennials is 8, while the average number for their parents was 10. In 1982, acceptance of premarital sex was at 41%. In 2012, that number increased to 58%. Yes, millennials are more comfortable with having premarital sex compared to previous generations, but at the same time, they have fewer sexual partners on average compared to their parents. Millennials have taken a much more progressive view towards relationships while taking the idea of having friends with benefits to new heights. Instead of having multiple flings with multiple people, the more ideal way millennials date is by having a small circle of people who are exclusively sexually active with just that person. Dating apps made it quick and easy to find matches. In the past, you had to put forth some effort when seeking a date, but you were limited to a small sample of people who you knew or shared mutual friends with. And now, thanks to dating apps, you have a larger selection of partners to choose from, and you spend less time choosing between those people.